Oh, okay. I only have a few days left till Christmas. And yesterday, I feel like I didn't get hardly enough done. I did get a lot of things at the store that I needed so that I can work on projects. But wow, I feel like I'm just chasing my tail at this point. So into here we go. I need some coffee and I can get my day started and... Well, there you are, blocking the coffee on a day. I really need it. Okay, you have a bag that says it's Christmas time. You, you just look like a jolly little bunny. The hard part is done. Now take your bags and get to work. Only a few days left. Thanks, guys. I was literally just saying that. I was just saying that. So like I was saying before, they so rudely reminded me of exactly what I was already talking about. <sighs> I only have a few days left, so everything that I bought yesterday now needs to go into place, and I think today that means I'm going to the cabin. Okay, time to get to work. We picked up these things yesterday, so today it's time to put them in place. Okay, so today is cabin day, and I am very excited because even though I don't know that we'll get everything finished, we're going to get a lot done today. And so now it is time to get started. And I'm not going to be working by myself. My mom's actually going to be helping me in here because she wants to be a little bit festive also. And so uh, this should be pretty fun. We're going to get the guest cottage cabin thing ready. And uh, we got some ideas. And now it's just time to put them all in place. Now, I've kind of been going over the ideas that I wanted to do for a bit. I've had some time to stew over it since starting the planning process. And so I know for a fact that I want to finish decorating the tree. I also want to add a lot of garland, some really cute buffalo plaid moments. And uh, I think we're going to start out in this section of the house and then uh, go into the bathroom after the fact because we need to clean a little bit more in there and make sure we really do the floors after I painted. So got this bag and a couple of others to get started. It's gonna be a good day. Okay, first and foremost, this table right here is going to stay, but this filing cabinet is not. So we're going to take the table and clean it off and scoot it over just a little bit to probably this section right here. And then the Christmas tree is gonna go on here. And then we have a little fireplace that has to come in and be a heater in this area because this particular house doesn't have on-demand heat and air. So that means that we're gonna clean this off, get it moved, figure out what to do with the filing cabinet. I think my dad's gonna actually take this down to his house because he wants it. So um, then after I'm gonna put a tablecloth on the actual table so that we can have the theme of the black and the red. And so I have this really nice like velvety feeling fabric that I'm gonna put on top of it. Then I'm gonna put the Christmas tree and then I'm gonna use the tree skirt. And that should make it look really cute and also elevated off the ground so you can see the Christmas tree pretty well. And it's gonna be so fun. I'm ready to decorate. So uh, I got some more lights for the Christmas tree. So I think first I'm going to get everything moved, then I'm gonna put the lights on and then, well, it'll all start to come together. Okay, the table's been moved. So now it's time for this. And on one side, it's like this fun velvety material. I love this. It just looks very luxe for Christmas and it reminds me of Frosty's hat. So that's why I love using this kind of material. Okay, now it's time to put the tree on here and I have to grab it from down low and pick it up carefully. And then over here I go. Oh, oh, hit the ceiling for a second and it's going to go somewhere in here. I may have to move it around just a little bit. These are the lights I found at the Dollar General. They're like $2.75 a pack, and I got 140 lights. This should be plenty long. They're 13 and a half feet each, so we'll see what happens. But I need to start my plug kind of down at the bottom, so I'll start and I'll wrap the tree, and I'll go all the way up, and if I have too many lights, I'll just double it up. First off, I have to get them out, and any extra bulbs I'm gonna set to the side just in case I need them. And then I made sure to get green strings so they would blend into the tree. So I don't know, we'll see how this works out. Lights, Ooh, starting from the bottom. Like, I'm gonna have to start. Let's see, where's my plug? Finding the plug is, is interesting. I think it's right down here. So I'll start with it plugged in. That way I don't have to worry about finding it later. Found it. So now I can wrap the tree with the lights. I'm just going to bring it up the back wall and then kind of go over, under, and then make sure they're nice and wound in there. 
and bright because even though these are like a warm white and not like the super bright bright ones it's going to be perfect also i need to probably remove these few ornaments i have because i have some other things to put on here so uh this is going to be a whole process okay the tree has been lit it looks a little strange still because it's still a little bald but now it's time to move on to the garland okay we found this at walmart it was 278 and it is 18 feet now just knowing what i know now from doing this tree this took two strands of light so there was a little bit more than enough to go up to the top so we wrapped it a couple of times but those were 13 and a half feet each so i feel as though we're gonna have to be very very sparing with this which is okay because this is mainly so that we can have little color pops just kind of a little something different and then we're going to do something with the burlap also i'm going to actually create like a kind of like flow down of the burlap from the top i think so this is just kind of like a little garnish so to speak it's gonna be fun okay so for this i think i need to concentrate more on the front of the tree i normally like to do a 360 tree but no one's going to really see this as much from the back so i'll just kind of drape it a little bit and then i'll do like a spin kind of where i get to the back and make it look like it might go there and then we'll fill in some of those spots with more ornaments because I have plenty of large ornaments. Okay, so now I get to tackle this bag, which has all of the ornaments and also my burlap in here, except for I do have some little balls also that I need to put on here. So I'll be using those as kind of fillers. I have bows, which I'm gonna use around the room for some things. So I'm just gonna set all these out to make it a little easier for me. And then under here somewhere, I have ornaments. This is what I was looking for right here. I'll get started with this in just a second. Okay, here's a heaping pile of ornaments ready to go on the tree. And then there's those things. So I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with the burlap before I start placing the ornaments. So I can get started now. Okay, we have the burlap draped on the tree. It just like picks up the light kind of that's behind it and makes it look like it's glowing, but it also is a really nice accent. So now I can adjust some of the little garlands and it's time to do the ornaments. Now I will have to put a hanger on this one. I already did one with this one. These were some leftovers from my other project. So I need at least a few zip ties. And then I don't think any of these have hangers either. So I'll probably have to use some more small zip ties, but that's okay, I have plenty of them. Zip ties are our best friends for Christmas, go figure. A lot of times people talk about duct tape, bailing wire, things like that when it comes to like van life, which is what I do most of the time. But whenever it comes to home projects, zip ties are great because you can put something up and then if you don't like it, you can cut it and then move it to another place. And it's less permanent that way, no nails. If I could do zip ties for everything, I would. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. Okay, so mom's been working on this little project. She found some fairy lights, little twinkle lights at Walmart. And they were not very expensive. I think they were like $4. And there's like 20 of them on here. And she purchased these so we could put them over here. Don't mind that. That's just my channel over here. We always like to keep the TV running. And uh, that way we don't get a copyright infringement. But uh, up here, she's gonna place these and that way it gives a little bit of a glow to this area. So while she's working on that, I'm gonna keep working on the tree and then we'll check back with her in just a minute. Okay, she's got it all taken care of and it just adds a little bit of color up here. This is kind of a darker cabin, which is another thing that we're gonna be improving in the future, but it's super cute and it looks really cozy now. There's several projects that are on the list of things that we want to improve in this cabin in the future. Um, the floors. Uh, some of the other things that we have. We might even paint the walls, I'm not sure. I do like that they're natural, but at the same time, it does make it very cavernous in here. And after being in my house where it's bright white, it really does improve the space and make it so much bigger. And the ceiling in here is very similar to the ceiling that I have over in my cabin. And so I think that with the white, it'll reflect up, but that's for a different day. We're not doing any of those projects right now. Eventually, whenever my dad and I and my mom start working on this, dad said he's gonna pull down these and actually place some different kinds of lights in here too, because it does kind of make it look dark in here. So eventually there will be some big projects here on the channel, just not yet. Okay, now that that's all installed, we're gonna turn it off for the time being so we can save the battery until people come and then we'll have it all twinkly. And then if I need to replace the batteries in the future, I can. I won't leave this on 24 hours a day though. Okay, these are the zip ties that I'm using and I've also been putting some of the little ties from the different lights in there because it makes it easier to put them away at the end of the season. 
These are just available to be found at Walmart. They also have them at Harbor Freight. It just gives you a variety of different colors and sizes for whatever you need. This is super wonderful for any time, but especially for the Christmas season. And I've used these around the house for other things as well. And I've used them in my van. In fact, these are what hold up my lights in my van so that I don't have a massive thing sticking out. I can just put these on there and then clip them and they're perfect. The Christmas tree is complete and it's already feeling way more Christmassy. So now we get to put the skirt on it. So I'm gonna clear off any of the little loose pieces that have come off and just rake them off in the floor because we're gonna be doing some floor cleaning in just a little bit. And then I'm gonna put the skirt on and we're done. Okay, I picked up some finishing nails that are kind of longer and then I have this old hammer. And so I'm just putting a small row of these finishing nails along the top border of the room. So like this, I'm gonna still clean out the corners and things like that, but I'm trying to get all of these hung all the way around the room and that way I can attach the garland. The one thing about having wooden walls is that sometimes command strips don't work on untreated wood. And so I've tried to use them before, but it didn't turn out so well. So instead I'm just gonna go ahead and use this and that way I know for a fact my garland won't fall. <laughs> the nice thing about not having the wood finished is the fact that I can always go in and fill in those holes if we do paint later on, or we could leave it up there so I can use garland every year. So one way or the other, it's getting hung today. Now I have two options. I can either just stuff this on top of it and then fluff it, or I can put zip ties on it and then hang it by the zip ties, and then I'll have a little loop that can actually attach the nails. I could do either one of them. I'm gonna try first just to put it up there and make sure it stays. If it doesn't, then I'll use the zip ties, but either way should work. So far, it's coming along great using just the draping method. So I think this is gonna work out. Yes, that's gonna make me so happy. I'm gonna have to have a little bit of help though with moving around this side because I don't want it to knock anything off. So I'm gonna get a little help from my mom and then everything should come together nicely very quickly. Okay, so I made it over here. I pulled out the refrigerator and I decorated the front of it with these cute little magnets. I don't know where my parents got these, but they've had them for a long time. And so there's three little snow people. This indicates my mom, my dad, and me. So they're super fun. And then we also have some little clips that have trees on them. So this is all Christmassy and ready to go. And now I'm taking a break for a minute. <sighs> on and off the little ladder, even though it's coming along great. I just wanted to take a break for a minute because, you know, I've done over half the room and it's looking pretty good. I've already fluffed up this section. I will have to get back on the ladder and fluff the other section. But in the meantime, while I'm taking a break, I want to check out what's on Pandora so that I can find out what kind of music I'm going to be playing in here. So my mom's over here putting together a really cool Christmas sign that I'm going to put on the wall that I just finished. And in the meantime, we're going to go on to Pandora and see what they have available and see if there's anything that looks like something I would put on for my friends, like a Yule log or just a Christmas channel in general. Oh, there's this one. This one could be cool. So that one's nice. That's the old Christmas card radio. And so let's see what else there is. There's family Christmas radio. Um, looks like my dad's been listening to some Andy Griffith and some John Denver. There's a Christmas traditional, that's kind of cool. And then also I think I'm just gonna go up here and see if I can go to the search bar and just look up Christmas in general and see what else there is. And this is a great way to just like have some ambiance in the room. And as people are coming and going, they'll be able to have just a little nugget of happiness that continues the theme. And even whenever we have like our family get togethers and stuff, we like to have Christmas music on in the background because it just makes everything a little bit better. So it looks like we have Christmas holiday. Oh my goodness, there's so many different things from newer stuff to older stuff and everything in between. So let's see, 2000s Christmas, 80s Christmas. Oh yeah, this is gonna be awesome. So I'll just pick a couple of these and make sure they're on the front screen to make it easier. And Pandora comes standard on most smart TVs. So you have access to this and it's absolutely free. So now that I know that that's there, that part's finished. So I can jam out to some Christmas tunes while I'm in here. And uh, that'll be kind of nice. I'm really happy about that. So probably not gonna do it at this moment because again, talking to you guys, copyright, and uh, don't want to get in trouble for that. But whenever it comes down to my friends being here, definitely gonna have that on for them. And uh, I'm gonna see if any of these have a screensaver that looks like a fireplace. That could be cool too, right? 
Okay, mom's project is finished. She got all these strung up and then we were able to hang them. It's just kind of a fun way to say Merry Christmas. I needed it to be a little bit shorter on this side because the door, but lower on this side because the window. So that part is finished and it looks good. Also, it's starting to sprinkle a little bit. So mom's moving our garland box. <laughs> That's all probably gonna go outside, but the box will ruin. Okay, so we've got those things done. I need to finish this which means we have to move out the other things that we've been working on, which is fine. It's all coming together. We're starting to get more floor space as we're working through the ornaments and the garlands and everything. There is going to be one thing in here that's going to be kind of out of place until it's not raining though. My dad has some little Christmas trees that are going to go outside and for now they're living in here and they're just going to stay here and they'll be fine. But I do have a few things that after I start cleaning the bathroom, I can move out of here and actually put into the bathroom. So I'm going to try to get this section finished all the way over to here and then I'm going to try to run the cord up this side so we can light up a few things up here and then I'm pretty pleased with how today has gone because it's been crazy. Okay it's starting to come to life. This is about to be all fixed but we have the upper lights that reflect. We have the tree over here and we're actually going to end up having to go back to the store to get some lights to run down the sides, but I think it's gonna look really fabulous. Rome definitely wasn't built in a day and any project that I have, it seems to turn into another shopping trip because we forget something, but we didn't know that this was actually gonna be something we wanted to do and we wouldn't have until we got it all up here to be able to see it. I like it without the lights and this could actually stay up year round in this cabin because it's a cabin vibe. But um, for Christmas, I think it needs the lights. So tomorrow, that will be on the agenda of things to do is find some more white lights. That'll add a little bit more light to the room anyway, since it is so dull in here and kind of shadowy. But um, I think this is gonna be great. Also, we're kind of thinking about potentially just changing out the bulbs of these lights to some brighter ones maybe also. So that's gonna be something that I personally don't know how to mess with those. Those are not things I have installed and my dad is going to do that because uh, they're older and they're a little bit more fickle. And so until they're replaced, we thought why not brighten them up just a little bit, you know? But for now you can see out the window, <laughs> it's getting dark, I'm losing light and I have at least a couple more projects to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those started and uh, you know, I may end up just hanging the garland in the bathroom tonight, even though I know I can't finish that project. But for now, I am gonna go ahead and move all the things that go in the bathroom into the bathroom so that I can have them in there and out of here. And that'll free up a little bit more space. And then it started raining, so I'm gonna have to bring some things back in, even though I don't want to. But that's okay, because it's going to be fine. Originally, I was gonna use this garland. It's a little bit long. So instead, I just went up with something that matches in the living room added a couple of bows and a cute little piece of happiness and this is done i'm so excited about this this is making me happy and i've still got a lot of work to do in here but it's coming along yes i think sometimes we can get overwhelmed by the expanse of a project and that's definitely happened to me several times in the working on my house or working in here or working outside but I've always kind of just picked a task and worked kind of on it. And if I couldn't finish it, I'd pick another task and keep moving forward because every single day you can take steps towards your goal, even if you can't hit the goal. And I live by that in all that I do from the way that I travel to the way that I prepare for projects. And that might sometimes seem super erratic to people because I'm jumping from thing to thing. But if I can't finish something, that doesn't mean I need to stop. That means I need to keep going with what I can do and chip away at the bigger goal. Small goals make bigger goals happen much easier. And not all small goals can be accomplished in the timing that you want them to, unfortunately. And the bigger goal definitely can't, but that doesn't mean you can't work toward it. go and uh yeah i think that was the right idea it looks really fun definitely christmasy and it'll look even better when i replace the blue but that is going to come after i completely scrub the shower down and go over the top bar in case i dripped anything like from when i was painting and get all the little 
weird things going on. And then also I'm going to go ahead and replace the shampoo and things like that because my guests will be here in just a couple of days and I'm so excited. Oh, the time has flown. It's flown. But you know what they say, time flies when you're having fun.